Hello and welcome again back to my playhouse. I just built a new six port 10 gig switch, that top box there, using an old Netscaler MPX 5500, which I upgraded to eight cores and eight gigs of RAM. So it's probably a little bit of overkill, but it has this, the, the, the 300 watt power supply. Below that is a four port 10 gig switch with six ports of one gig. That was built, my original one, with a 7500. I thought it would be good to have the redundant power supplies and the, those are 450 watt power supplies. But it's, I think it's not necessary. Uh, 300 watts at uh, gold 80 percent power supply is more than enough. These three dual port 10 gig Chelsea network cards cost $66 delivered. Yeah, plus yeah, $66 delivered. Plus you can pick up these 5500s dirt cheap. Uh, I've seen them as little as $29 on eBay. You know, maybe plus shipping, whatever. So it's a really great uh, opportunity to build yourself a 10 gig switch on the on the cheap side. You know, under 200 bucks, and it's it's probably burning about 160 watts. And actually, now that these two guys are together, can you hear that? It's it's the the noise level is very manageable. Uh, they do. I did replace them with the four pin pulse with modulated fans. Okay. Again, you know, you can get four or six fans for probably $30, but it does make a difference going to the BIOS, change the, the fan setting to four pin server, and it's loud in the beginning, but then it's quiets down right away. Here I have a, uh, an SDX 8200, 8200. Um, it's part of a VMware cluster. Uh, 16 port switch, a free NAS running iSCSI providing images, and two on the bottom that are running, two Netscaler 11,500s. I have another one coming, uh, but those those three that I mentioned are currently in a, in a vSAN cluster as well as a cluster. I've got two other servers. Uh, 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 Netscaler 10,500, which I'll replace with the new 11,500 when it gets here, and uh, an Apple Xserve 2009. Those are also part of the cluster. Oh, and one more, my uh, SDX that I built based upon my book, Understanding the Netscaler SDX, how I built my own SDX clone and how you can too. That's my SDX clone in there. So internally, it's exactly the same as this, just has a different set of, set of network cards currently. Uh, so the, yeah, so I guess there's uh, one, two, three, three additional servers, so six servers in the my vSphere 6.7 cluster. Um, but the, I mean, what I'm amazed is the noise level. And being that it's October, just open the window, let the cold air in, and this room is, what is it, 23.4 degrees centigrade, so what's what, probably about 67 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And if I needed to be more quiet, of course, I can put this in place. This is the foam side facing the server rack and this is the foam side facing me and I got a temperature gauge in there which sticks out the back right so let's put that in place and even oh wow even so I'm back in the same position even sort of haphazardly just leaning up against there there's Obviously, airflow coming in on the top and on the bottom, and also through the sides to allow 
the cold air to get in. The hot air, of course, is going to go out the back, uh, out and up the back, and be you know be cooled by the window. You know, which is letting letting the hot air get out out the top. So this is just another uh, overview of the, the setup. Currently hosting a Citrix. What am, what am I running? Seven point eight. Zen, Zen apps and desktop infrastructure as well as my IDC in a box those are also being those are also being run in here what else uh, and a few other things but the main thing is it doesn't use that much power it's relatively quiet with some additional sound absorption techniques and um, you know including the fans and it doesn't cost that much money. You know, uh, I just picked up my last 11500 which I recommend for $205 on eBay. I see one right now for $245 on eBay. This is uh, the 20, 30th of October, 2019. They want $55 shipping, but that's coming. That's a, that's a price that's come down. Of course, if you want to get a, a, a dedicated server, that can still run VMware, what is it, 6.7. You may or may not be able to find that for less, but what I love about these is that they come with the crypto boards, which allows me to run end-to-end -end encryption, hardware accelerated. And with the newer ones, 11,500 has those drive bays. So I, I should have some video in the can where I describe the internals of 11,500. And if I deleted it accidentally, I'll have to open them up again and do it again. But a really powerful machine, the 11,500. 12 cores, 24 threads, up to 192 gigs of RAM. Six slots in the back for drives. Four, two and a half, two, three and a half. And uh, I believe it's 18. 99 is 18. Or 8 and 8 is 16. Minimum 16. SSL acceleration chips uh, available for your VMware infrastructure. Of course, you can still use them as a Netscaler SDX or a Netscaler MPX, but I, I like I just like using them for hosting. All right, because they work great. Because uh, I got four 10 gig ports in the front and eight one gig ports. Usually, that's the configuration I'm looking for. Plus two management ports. It's very powerful. All right, this has been Joe from uh, N90X. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful, and I'll see you on the next video. My Playhouse, baby.